Hi, Always Man Reviews here. Uh, I haven't really been here with a video in a while. Uh, it's like a week. Uh, this is not a review, but uh, this is going to be a video on tips. What type of tips, you ask? How to create a sci fi series. Or any series in general, but mostly a sci fi series. Uh, many of you may not know this. Mostly my close friends and family know, but I have a sci fi series. Um, <clears throat> There, I've been working on this since 2002. There are currently 35 books. 35, 35. 35 books uh, so far I've worked on. Uh, and here in college, I've worked on, I'm working on mini book number seven right now. Uh, at home, though, when I go back home, I'm going to continue to work on book number 26 and stuff like that. So, many, many of you out there may be wondering why am I making this video? Well, I was searching up on YouTube. You know how they have how to videos? They don't have how to create like a sci-fi series. So I'm going to tell you how to create a sci-fi series. First off, uh, you're going to want to have a passion for like sci-fi or comics or something, you know, sci-fi like Star Wars, Star Trek, Marvel, DC. You know, those all Dragon Ball Z all have elements of like sci-fi. Of course, you know, Star Wars and Star Trek mostly. Uh, Marvel, TC, they do travel in the space and our spaceships and aliens and stuff like that. Dragon Ball Z had sci-fi elements. They have any video games, sci-fi elements. But not everything in like your sci-fi universe needs to be like in space or something to do with sci-fi. You can include zombies. You can include superheroes. You can include mystic warriors. It's a sci-fi universe. Anything can happen. Anything you want to happen. You want to have gods come out of nowhere, just try stuff. You can have anything. Uh, time travel, you can do it. Basically, uh, sci-fi, I think, is, has elements of everything. There can be romance between characters, there can be drama between characters, there can be conflict, of course, wars, you know what I mean? There can be comedy moments, you know? It's a it's a sci-fi universe. You can do whatever you want. It's endless. You can create alternate timelines, alternate realities, different dimensions, you know, different realms, hell, heaven, whatever you want. Now, I'm going to give you tips on how to create a sci-fi series. Like I said, first off, you're going to want to know a little bit about sci-fi. So, here's one movie, Return of the Jedi, Star Wars. I recommend it if you really want to start a Star Wars series. I mean, Star Wars, sci-fi series. I recommend watching, like, Star Wars movies, Star Trek, Doctor Who, Lost, uh, Battlestar Galactica, but, but Galactica, excuse me, uh, Star Wars, The Clone Wars, if you really want to. Uh, a couple other sci-fi series are uh, you should watch, uh, some, oh, 2001 Space Odyssey is pretty good, uh, Planet of the Apes is pretty good, The Time, uh, Time Machine original is pretty good, the remake is okay, you can watch that too. So I recommend watching sci-fi movies and sci-fi TV series to get a feel of, you know, what stories do they have. Now, like I said, sci-fi series can be whatever you want, but if you want to start a sci-fi series, I recommend watching, like, a lot of these things. You can also watch... You know, I recommend watching movies in general, because you may want to do something with the Mafia, watch The Godfather, you could do Mafia in space, you know what I mean? Uh, another thing, besides like movies, besides sci-fi movies and stuff like that, and just movies like with monsters or anything like that, that have sci-fi elements, even fantasy, Lord of the Rings, you can always do a story about fantasy and sci-fi, which is what Star Wars is. Uh, video games, if you want inspiration. Half-Life is a really good video game about aliens coming in from a different dimension. Gordon Freeman's supposed to fight them. And this, like, massive lab, Black Mesa. It's uh, really fun. The story is really intriguing. The military gets involved. Half-Life 2 is fun. The other Half-Life games are also fun. I played them. Uh, there are many other games you, you could probably be inspired by. Resident Evil 4 is a really good uh, game and inspired me a little bit. Like, for, like, zombies. Include a couple more zombies in my stories, which I have. Not too much, but I'll probably begin working on more zombies. Uh, and there are a lot more other video games, like the GTA games have really good stories. Listen to that, you know, watch those storylines. Play close attention, might even inspire you. You know, uh, what else I'm trying to think? There are a bunch of, there are a lot of video games out there, obviously. You can be inspired by Super Mario Brothers, it doesn't matter. You know, either way, any video game would like that has either sci fi or fantasy. You know, I recommend, which most video games are, like, I play a lot of RPGs, first-person shooters, you know, you can be inspired, you can be inspired by a situation, Call of Duty, 
you want to, you know, create, have people parachute into a sci-fi environment, fight off aliens, you could do that. That could be inspire that. Uh, another thing, uh, books. Now, I mean, once again, these I love these types of books, reference books, sort of, with a lot of a lot of great images in them. This is a uh, from War of the World, H.G. Wells, Star Trek: Ship of the Line. Really good book. I recommend it if you want to start a sci-fi series. <coughs> sci-fi art. Uh, I did a review on this. Didn't get too many reviews, but it's a really good book. And I have this book. I have more books at home. But I like these books, Marvel type books like this, like uh, and DC. They're like filled with uh, all this information essentially about characters, drawings. These are really good if you want to get inspired. You can look in these books. Now, when you're creating a sci-fi universe, I recommend uh, try to be as original as possible. And I know most ideas have been done, but add your own spin to it. You know, time travel's been done a million times. But you know, so yeah, I mean, you can do time travel, but make it make it you know stand out, make it uh, unique. You want to do aliens invading? You know, try to make it unique. Try to put your own spin on it. Aliens are invading because you know they want to wipe out the entire human race or something. You know, because apparently there's something in their DNA. Uh, if they keep living, eventually, you know. The DNA chains of the universe will collapse, and this is this is what they think the aliens, but it's not true, you know. So you could even you could do that, you know. Just try to be, you know, try to be put as much input as you have. So I, did, for instance, I was inspired by Star Trek. I did a story, uh, like if you ever watch Voyager, I did a story similar to that, where this chaotic storm happens, the ship is transferred to another galaxy. And they have to basically try to get out. And they'll count the peaceful races and hostile races. And it takes them about 16 years. But what's unique about this story is that besides being my own spin, and, you know, besides having my own characters that are my species, they are different stories. Not Because I didn't really watch Voyager that much. But I like the concept of getting lost in a galaxy, you know, that isn't your galaxy. So, like I said, start with a foundation. You can start simple, I started simple, you know, good guys, bad guys fighting each other. You don't really need to explain, you can eventually go into depth, like, you know, these are the bad guys, these have been the bad guys for millions of years, these have been the good guys for millions of years, and they're both, you know, sort of like Jedi and Sith, you know, stuff like that, and they've been in combat, you know, because they basically want to control the galaxy. Both of them have two different views, and both of them are willing to do anything, over the Sith are willing to be more evil. The good guys are willing to use alternatives, but then you can look at both sides. You can look, maybe, maybe the Jedi are evil, you know, maybe the Sith are actually doing good. You know what I mean? You can look at it that way. You create heroes. You know, start with an easy foundation, and then as you begin, you know, begin with a conflict, begin the battles, stuff like that. Characters, important characters, and the battles and stuff like that. And eventually, you can expand on the character. Oh, this character was a Marine in the first so-and-so war about 20 years ago and this is how he got to this rank now you can explain about what he did you know oh and this character the reason why he's evil because his parents beat him every day you could explain you know so this has been a video about how to create a sci-fi series I told you the inspirations I told you basic story concepts you can start out with conflict time travel always good and if you're gonna start a sci-fi universe and you're serious about it Make sure you keep all the books together that you draw. All right. Hey, let me show you a little bit of my book. This is mini book number seven. This is, uh, see right here, the Gen Galaxy, new galaxy I've been working on. Dark Star God Minions. Some, uh, character concepts over there. More characters for the Unlimited Saga video game series. A Super Pig. Uh, alternate timeline creature over here. Uh, more stuff, more drawings, robots, stuff like that, a part of my story arc. One of the final bosses in one of the games. Information, information, I mean, actually a story. Unlimited Saga 7, another character, inspired by Metro Prime, Metro Prime Saga. Uh, that's my video. I hope this helped, I hope I encourage you to start a sci-fi series. Uh, you know? Uh, like I said, you may start up slow, but eventually, if you watch, like, if you watch these things or play these things, 
you're getting inspired to do more and more different stories. You know, which is what I've been uh, watching. So, you know, on Woodsman Reviews, rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.